are going to create a simple program for the Arduino Uno that will blink the onboard LED. This will test if your board works and if your computer is properly configured to connect to the Arduino Uno board. Make sure the Arduino development environment is loaded and bring out the Arduino Uno board and USB cable. Plug in the USB cable to your computer. Use the cable to dissipate any electrostatic charges you may have built up before handling the Arduino Uno. Plug in the USB cable to the Arduino Uno board. The green power LED should light up. Looking at the Arduino development environment, there are three main sections. The menu and toolbars, the code editor window area, and the status and message panes. We'll be doing most of the coding in the code editor window area. Any errors in compiling or uploading appear in the status pane. Before going further, Let's look at the Arduino Uno board. There are 14 digital pins labeled D13 through D0. There are 6 analog input pins A0 through A5. 3 ground reference pins, 3.3 volt and 5 volt source pins. The power LED, communications LED, and the built-in LED connected to digital pin 13. That is the LED we will be working with. Going back to the code editor window, we see that there are only two functions present. Setup contains code that will run on power up or when the reset button is pressed to restart the Arduino. This normally contains code to configure things. Loop contains code that will run after setup. After the last bit of code is run inside loop, it will start from the beginning of loop. Lines that start with two forward slashes are comments and are ignored by Arduino when compiling the program. These are used to document your code or to temporarily turn off parts of your code. We start by defining the term or identifier LED to mean the number 13. This makes your code marginally more readable, especially when your code becomes more complex. The line written will tell the compiler to replace LED with the number 13 prior to compiling the code. Whether something is an input or output is defined from the Arduino's point of view. An output is a signal coming out of the Arduino while an input is a signal going into the Arduino. If the signal can go either in or out, it's called an I-O or input-output signal. Since the LED is an output device and the LED is connected to digital pin 13, we need to tell the Arduino to make pin 13 an output. We do this with the pin mode statement, giving it the parameters or arguments of what pin to work with, LED, and what direction the signal goes, output. Arduino uses a C++-derived language, so statements must end with a semicolon. Computer programming is about working with metaphors. As mentioned earlier, the LED is an output device connected to a digital pin. With Arduino, the metaphor of sending a signal out is right. So, to send a signal out through a digital pin, you use the digital write function. Digital write takes two arguments, the pin to send the signal out of, and what signal to send. Since this is a digital computer, you only get two possible signal levels, high or low. Sending a high causes the digital pin to output the maximum possible voltage, in this case 5 volts, while sending low outputs 0 volts. If we ran this piece of code now, we would not see the LED blink because it would run fast. In order to slow down our code, we need to add delays in the form of the delay function. Delay takes in a whole number, called an integer, that represents how many thousandths of a second or milliseconds to stop the program. In this sample, we will leave the LED on high for 100 milliseconds, then set it low for 900 milliseconds. The total period of this function is one second. Now, we need to upload our program to the Arduino Uno board. Check first that the Arduino Uno is connected properly to the computer. Then, we need to check that we have the correct board selected. Go to the Tools menu, then go to the Board menu. Ensure that Arduino Uno is selected in the sub-menu. This may be under the Arduino AVR Boards menu if you have several boards installed. Then we check the correct serial port is selected. Go to the Tools menu, then the Ports menu. Select the serial port with Arduino Uno labeled. We can double-check the settings have taken hold by looking at the status bar in the lower right-hand corner. Now to compile and upload the program. 
Click on the Upload icon on the toolbar. This saves the program, compiles it, and begins to upload the program. While the program uploads, the communications LEDs on the Arduino Uno board will flash. When you get done uploading, check that the LED is behaving as expected. Feel free to play around with the various delays to see how this affects the behavior of the built-in LED. This one makes the LED flash for the briefest amount of time. This one makes it blink twice a second. When you are done, you can simply unplug the USB cable from the Arduino Uno board without having to eject the device. Once the program is uploaded to the Arduino Uno board, it is stored in the microcontroller even when powered off. Giving power back to the board will let it run the last uploaded program.